I'm going to do a little review of uh, the Dyson animal and the shark rotator lift away professional. Uh, we just got the shark um, just yesterday and I've used it a little bit just to see how it works and it seems to do a good job of uh, picking up. It, it has really good reviews as far as its ability to pick up a lot on really short napped carpets and rugs and that's what I used it on and it really picked a lot up. Um, one thing I've noticed in some of the reviews is uh, they vacuum with the Dyson first and then go over the carpet after that with the shark and the shark picks up a lot more dirt afterwards. I haven't seen any where they vacuum first with the shark and then with the bike or with the Dyson, uh, I'm going to do it in that order. Do the uh, shark first and see how much that picks up, and then go over it after the carpet afterwards with the Dyson. Uh, this is our bedroom. It's about I don't know. It's probably about 200 and some square feet in here, and it hasn't been vacuumed uh, for about five days. So uh, we'll see what kind of results we get doing it in that order, and uh, I'll come back with some. Uh, some results and we'll see how it looks. Okay, I just finished doing the entire floor, going over it once uh, with the shark rotator. And uh, let's see if we can kind of hold this up to the to the light here a little bit and see. You can see there's a fair amount of debris in there. Okay, the see the dust. I'm going to empty it out onto a, uh, a white table and then you can, you can see a little bit better and then I'll go over with uh, the Dyson. Okay there's what we got out of the uh, shark after one pass on the carpet. Now I'll go over it with the Dyson. Okay just finished going over uh, the same area with the Dyson now. Uh, a couple things I mentioned. The Dyson the head is just a, the uh, brush roll is a little bit wider. I think this is maybe a 13 inch wide and the uh, shark I believe it's 11 and a half inches so it's a little bit narrower. Uh, the shark is definitely easier to push. It seems like the brush roll kind of must uh, grip the carpet a little bit better and actually seems to pull it ahead. So uh, the dice, or I'm sorry, the shark is much easier to push and part of that maybe is because it's a, a narrower head also. Okay, so I've gone over it with the Dyson, and I'll empty this out on the table also. Uh, there's a little bit in there, uh, not very much though. We'll see how that looks once it's emptied. Okay, there's the, the Dyson being emptied out, um, and compared to the what I got from the Shark on the, on the first pass. Uh, and I'd say, I don't know, maybe 20 to 25% uh, equivalent of what what the uh, shark got, so it did pick up um, a little more, about 25% more uh, afterwards. So uh, the shark did leave some debris behind. Uh, I've got actually another uh, room, another bedroom, it's a little bit smaller. Uh, I'm gonna do, th do the same thing, but in the reverse order. So I'll do the uh, Dyson first, and then the shark and see how, it, how they compare going the other direction. Okay, just finished this other bedroom. This hasn't been vacuumed in about a week or so. I uh, went over it with the Dyson first, and this is the DC-28. I might have, I don't know if I said the model before, but uh, I think this is called the Animal. And uh, you can see a little bit in there. I'll empty it on the table and see how it looks. Okay, and that's what we got out of the Dyson on the first pass on the smaller bedroom. That bedroom's, like I say, probably about half the size of the first one, but uh, hadn't been vacuumed as thoroughly uh, as recent as the first one. So there's uh, the Dyson one pass small bedroom. There's a Dyson that's second pass after the shark on the bigger bedroom. And that's what the shark brought in on the bigger bedroom on the first pass. So now I'm going to run the shark over the smaller bedroom and see what comes up after the bike Dyson's gone over it first. Okay, so here now here's the second room. Uh, I went over it with the shark after having done the uh, Dyson first and uh, it looks like comparing the two piles I don't know again maybe 20 percent 25 percent that it picked up on the second pass then I did something kind of interesting I went back to the first room so I've got these marked room 
2, pass 1 on the Dyson, room 2, pass 2 using the shark. Uh, and then back to these uh, samples, this is the first room, and there's the first pass uh, using the shark, and then the second pass on room 1 using the Dyson. And then I went over the first room again with the shark. So it's it, on the third pass, there's what I came up with with the shark. And it's probably, well, it's probably a little bit less than the, the second pass with the Dyson. But uh, I don't know what that tells you. It tells you that every time you go over a room, it doesn't matter which vacuum it doesn't look like, they are going to continue to pull up more dirt and debris and dust and stuff like that that's embedded in the carpet. So. Uh, I don't know if that's any real conclusions. It looks like they both are performing uh, roughly about the same uh, from one to the other. The carpet I was doing this on was kind of a medium nap carpet on both rooms. And uh, like I said, the, the Shark certainly did pull or push and operate easier than the Dyson. Uh, but it looks like the performance is roughly, uh, roughly about the same from both vacuums. Uh, the Shark is considerably less expensive. I paid $229 for the uh, Rotator uh, Professional Liftaway, and that came with a caddy, and it came with four tools, like a powered uh, head uh, for pet uh, use. and Or, I'm sorry, it came with five accessories, a crevice wand and, and a, a bare floor attachment. Uh, so anyway, there you have it. Uh, for the money, I guess I would probably buy the Shark. Although the, the Dyson filters are all uh, washable and uh, you never have to replace them. Uh, the Shark filters, I believe, they are washable to some degree, but then you have to replace them at some point. So there's a little more expense there. I hope this helped you in your decision on what type of a vacuum to buy or to own.